Today is Friday, June 5th. And for the month of June, I want to talk about purpose. We are restarting our society. We are loosening many of the restrictions about social distancing. And while this pandemic will be an issue for a while, we are getting more involved. For instance, we will be in the church, worshiping together for the first time since March. And while this is a good thing, it means we run the risk of getting swept up with the busyness of life. Now, as I said a couple days ago, there's a difference between being busy and being consumed by busyness. As society restarts, as we get involved, as one thing happens after another, and soon we're just consumed with all the busyness of life without ever bothering to think about the purpose or the meaning of any of it. So for the next several days, I want to talk about the purpose we have in Jesus Christ. And I want to go beyond simple statements or vague platitudes to really look at our meaning in God. And I'll start with one of the most significant things I can say about your life. It's not about you. God has a plan for your life that is beyond your hopes or your dreams or your plans or your career or your family or even your happiness. Your life is not about you. That is a tough thing for us to hear. For centuries, Christians have been saying that our lives are not about us. And when the unbelieving world hears that, it's such a shocking statement that they assume we're not being serious. When we say our lives are not about us, the unbelieving world says, well, yeah, but you don't really mean that. I mean, you mean it's about more than us. It's about me and God, or me and my faith, or me and something else. But it's still about me, right? The reason that the search for meaning has confounded so many people for so many centuries is that we often start in the wrong place. We start with self-absorbed ideas about how my life is ultimately about me. We've heard it a thousand times over from all the self-help gurus and Oprah Winfrey's of the world that if you want to find meaning, you start by looking inward. That is utter nonsense. I did not create my life. I did not design it. I did not plan my existence. If meaning is to be found, it's not going to be found by looking inward. If life has any meaning, it can only be found by looking to the author of life. The difficult irony here is that if my focus is on satisfying myself, that I'm never going to be satisfied. I was created for God, not the other way around. God has a purpose for my life that goes beyond my selfish desires. And so if I'm looking inward, I'm never going to find meaning. If meaning is to be found, it has to be found by looking to the author of life, to Jesus Christ, the beginning and the end, the start of all things, and eventually the end of all things. In him alone can there be meaning. And it's not about me. And so we each have a choice. We can get swept along with the busyness of life and just really try not to think about the purpose, or we can seek purpose in Jesus Christ. May God be with you, and I'll see you tomorrow.